Only on WJZ, the mother of the suspected extremist behind an attack on power substations across Baltimore is breaking her silence. What she says about her daughter and the foiled plot. Hello, everybody. I'm Denise Coe. And I'm Vic Carter. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and on WJZ TV. The FBI spent months monitoring two suspects with neo Nazi ties as they planned an armed attack on critical power substations. Well, tonight we begin with a revealing interview with the mother of Sarah Clendaniel, who faces decades in prison if convicted. Federal prosecutors say Clendaniel and a friend wanted to destroy the power grid and plunge Baltimore into chaos. They say the plot was fueled by racially motivated hatred. WJC investigator Mike Helgen is live in Cecil County, where Clendaniel grew up. He has her mother's first television interview. Mike. Vic, Denise, the U.S. attorney says if this plot had become reality, it would have been catastrophic and life threatening for people in our area. Now, her mother tells me she spent time with her daughter over the holidays. She knew about her extremist views, but never suspected this plot. Unless there's a miracle, she'll most likely die in prison. For the first time, Lynette Clendaniel is speaking publicly about her daughter, Sarah, who prosecutors described as a neo Nazi who was plotting to blow up the power grid in the Baltimore area. Our views are, are different, and she knew what I believed, and I knew what she believed, and, you know, we just didn't are you discuss shocked? that. So, no, I'm not. Would you? say that she's a Nazi or neo-Nazi, that it's true that she held those views? Yes, she definitely held those views. Is there anything, did you try to reason with her or, or, or talk to her about it? My philosophy to everyone in the world is watch Independence Day and get a grip. We all live on this planet together. You better get along. She says Sarah, who grew up here in Northeast, has had trauma since early childhood and seven years ago served jail time for robbing local convenience stores with a machete to feed a heroin addiction. She really has always had anti-establishment views. She tells us that time behind bars escalated her daughter's extremism. It's also where she met Brandon Russell. Prosecutors say he's the co-founder of Adam Waffen Division, a neo-Nazi organization who recently served prison time for possession of bomb-making materials in Florida. She had mentioned him, but like I said, I didn't discuss her life. She knew I didn't agree with agree with it, so we really didn't go there. Her daughter had been living with a friend in Catonsville. Chilling images in court records show her armed. Prosecutors say she was terminally ill and determined to carry out her plot before she died, and was recorded telling an FBI informant, if we can pull off what I'm hoping, this would be legendary. Do you think she was capable of carrying out a plot like that? I think the last time that she was here was mostly spent in bed the whole time, and then trying to spend a little bit of time with her kids. And are you going to be there in court to support her? Or what are Most you going to do? Most likely not. I'll probably be here with her children. She now has custody of her grandchildren and shared this picture of her daughter at a 2005 Grand Canyon trip and says she always liked to live on the edge. Lynette says she'll rely on her faith to get through what's next. My Heavenly Father has his plan and his purpose for all things. And whatever his plan is, so be it. And prosecutors say this plan was detailed and had been in the plotting stages since June. Clint Daniel is represented by the public defender. Live in Cecil County, Mike Helgren, WJZ.